You know, the relationship started uh, on controversy. Yeah. So, so, anything that starts with controversy will do what? Will definitely end up on controversy. Yes. Yes. So, how the relationship started the same way what? It's, it ended. Uh, it ended, yes, yes, exactly. Yes. A recent interview. You know, uh, MDK Medical has, has made it clear mm -hmm. to us that a uh, uh, fella is no longer AMG associate. Yes, <laughs> uh, <laughs> but he yes. said he's no longer part of AMG. So yeah, yes, he, he has made it clear to us now. Mm -hmm. uh, in as much as you know, there were a lot of rumors going on like okay. that, but okay. it was not uh, substantiated until he, he came out in a recent interview to tell us that uh, his uh, uh, fella is now his uh, baby mama and they are no longer together then they are separated wow yes wow wow agreeably they have separated yes wow and uh, wow. you know in as much as he's not mm. happy about the whole thing mm -hmm. it seems it is something that is a uh, out of his control he gets it <laughs> yes like uh, something that mm. uh, sometimes uh, there are just certain things that you cannot put it's, under control. Okay. Yeah, there are just certain things okay. you cannot control. So I think it's something that is uh, out of his control. His control, okay. Yes. Bella McCaffrey, she is today because of medical. Medical. Yes. In as much as she got hype and got exposure from the Yulu TV series. Yeah, that's what uh, people uh, also say. Yes. That in she, as much as she, she got a hype. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. That in as much as she got a hype from there, she was still a nobody mm. until medical came into her life. Mm. Medical made her who she is. Okay, agreeably, uh, I, I may agree with you because a lot of people pass through those YOLO series and you can't, yeah, you don't, yeah. you don't even know yes, them. You can't even, meanwhile, at, uh, that series, the spotlight was not mm -hmm. even on her. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Those who the spotlight were on mm -hmm. in that particular TV series, mm -hmm. we don't even get to hear people talk about them about all the time. Them. Yeah. You yeah. get it? Yeah. Yeah. But the reason why his legacy or his name continued mm. the way it did after that exposure was when medical stepped into her life mm. medical was already a big artist medical was already making waves medical was already out there everybody knew medical to mm. be medical amg you understand so when medical started associating with this lady and made it publicly that she's into the lady and then they they have something ongoing that was when a lot of people now drew their attention to her you get it and knowing that oh she came from the this uh, there was a, a little spotlight on her from already from yeah from the, from the tv series mm -hmm. you know people started it got the part the, the celebrity kind of life mm -hmm. came to her caught her unawares mm -hmm. and then adding to medicals a, a fan base and all mm. those things i think she couldn't sustain that and, and she couldn't control all of that and that and it, it ate so deep into her mm. leading to her uh, behavioral changes and leading to their their separation because medical has tried on several locations based on his pitch mm -hmm. to tame her and to bring her under control but it's something that or to put her on a, yeah, a, a, on right path good but it's something that like he has not been able to do because the lady met fame mm -hmm. and success at the same time <laughs> you get it with no experience with no to experience to handle it yes with no experience to handle it you get it so uh, it's something that has also contributed a lot to her behavioral changes mm -hmm. which has led to their separation you get it and one thing that uh, has really pissed medical off is uh, this guy uh, uh, the black, the black thing. having having passed uh, the, the 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 this thing, the smoke to a, a fella mm -hmm. at, at the night at the club where they were partying and all those things and then you know you being a married woman you know smoking publicly mm -hmm. and all those mm -hmm. things you know mm -hmm. he said he said disgrace and a shame yeah, to your husband your husband you, you get yeah. It. Yeah. even if you have to smoke you know you don't do it publicly you get it and I think uh, her smoking habit is something that. Even the husband mm -hmm. who happens to be her ex-husband now who happens to be medical has talked about severally and uh, has tried mm, to he, control to control. But then you know it's something that he couldn't do uh, uh, away with, and for her to 
smoke publicly like that, you know, it, you know, it's, it's far beyond the, 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 the belt. It's not nice. You get it? As a married woman, you should, you should learn and know that there are things that you, you shouldn't do in public. You get it? Because if not for anything, at least, yeah, medical is a big brand in, in Ghana. And then you don't tarnish his, his image like that. It's not nice. Uh, you have said a lot. Uh, well, I think uh, from the onset, their marriage itself uh, or their relationship itself started on controversy. You know, uh, Medica and Sister Debbie yes. were moving or were in relationship before Fela came into the the lime uh, yeah. the lime uh, the limelight yeah so which everybody which got everyone talking that she snatched medical from what sister uh, Debbie. sister Debbie and yeah. honestly sister Debbie wasn't happy about the whole thing but she acted maturely mm -hmm. if I may say it because uh, she didn't take to social media to. Mm -hmm. uh, say all manner of things or insult or you know she didn't drag the whole issue yeah. on social media yeah. so i will yeah. say that too she yeah. she did well with regards to that mm -hmm. she added maturely on that particular note and then you know she just accepted her feet mm -hmm. and then left left the two of them to their feet and as well on, yes, yes. <laughs> and, and moved on it is, <laughs> no matter how hard it, it might have been for her but then she tried to put herself together and then she moved on you get it so with uh with regards to all this, I just said it from uh, from the onset. This relationship will not, you know, the relationship started uh, on controversy. Yeah. So I I've said to myself that well, this relationship wouldn't what will will end up on controversy or not. Let, let me put it this way. So anything that starts with controversy will do what will definitely end up on controversy yes yes so how the relationship started the same way what is it ended uh, it ended yes, yes exactly yes exactly so me I, I wasn't surprised i wasn't surprised at all i was not surprised because ladies of today uh, feel that when they are married uh, the man has no uh, obligation to what control them. to control them yes or to tell them what to do even if they are going astray no man will no man and eh? no man will bring you under his umbrella and watch you goes astray no man will uh, uh, will pay your diary and watch you uh, uh, do what you want to do eh? yeah. anyhow no it wouldn't happen anywhere. You see, it is in the Western world that they claim this. So, so, so uh, when people and uh, a man and woman are in relationship, they said in partnership. You see, it is it is in business that we call partnership. Partnership means everybody is contributing fifty percent. Yeah. Uh -huh. Be it time, monetary uh, uh, value. Uh, be it measured in time monetary value or whatsoever it must be 50 50 and at the end of the day the proceed or whatever will be shared based on your contribution but here is the case women of today brought this term this business term into marriage to marriage bring this business term into relationship <laughs> you are my partner you are not my uh, uh, husband which means you don't have control over me yes you don't have control over me. And you see, the funny aspect of it all is that, especially uh, our black women, they will tell you, you are my partner. But here is the case. They expect the guy in the relationship or the man in the marriage to contribute 100%, whereas they contribute nothing. <laughs> Hmm? Yeah, they contribute nothing, absolutely but nothing. Uh -huh, absolutely nothing. But telling you that you are my partner, man takes responsibility, full responsibility of everything, of everything builds everything. everything. And at the end of the day, you come and tell, and when you work and get your money, you pocket it. You say it is my money. Your money is our money. Yes. <laughs> and you come and tell me you are my partner, 
It's your, ridiculous. Your, your money is our money. My money is my money. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's how they say it. Yes. Mm. You see, so black women must, uh, 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 black women of today must come back again to redefine relationship or lie. Huh? I don't have time for you, so you are. We are. <laughs> women and I don't Wait, understand. Yeah, women. Come on, sometimes it's, it's crazy, but Charlie. Uh, I don't understand it's, it's, women. It is what it is. That's what is happening. That's what is happening uh, in this uh, 21st century. You get it? Because a lot of these cases are rampant. In, I just, in this, I just, I just don't it, understand. Right? And if you look at the divorce rates lately compared okay. to uh, those days, mm -hmm. you realize that the divorce rates, you know, is skyrocketing. Mm. You get it? So it is what it is these days. You get it? So uh, sometimes as a man, you just have to be vigilant. And then you know know how you, you you do your dealings. You get it. Know how you do your dealings. But well, I still uh, sympathize with medical, and I feel his first because it's not easy uh, to have him being there. And then you know all these things are happening. You know, <laughs> it's it's not nice. It's not nice. But fella didn't do well. Actually, fella didn't do well. That's that's a shame. A shame. A shameful act. She and herself and the family. She intentionally did that. Yes. She intentionally did it. Wow. This no excuse or uh, of apology will will change my mind that she did not or both of them did not do that intentionally. intentionally yes. yes. But even even at that, they have not. They, they don't even see the need to apologize. Uh -huh. Even at that, you, you see the whole thing. They don't even see the need to apologize because mm -hmm. to them they haven't done anything wrong. Anything wrong. Yes. Yeah. It's not just to smoke. They haven't done anything wrong. So, you know, we just to smoke. Yeah, nah, nah, smoking, smoke. You know, keep person. <laughs> nah, smoking, smoke. You know, you know, keep person. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Smoke, no keep. Yeah, you know, keep person. So, you know, the see reason to say, oh, I'm sorry. You, you get the thing. Yeah, now nah, smoke, is smoke. You know, keep person. You know, we say medical can see and say they bed with somebody. <laughs> and I smoke, is smoke. You know, keep person. Yeah. Yeah, but well, all the same, it's not nice. Fella didn't do well, and it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a shame to the, to herself and the family. It's, it's a it's condemnable nice. act. Yes, yes. Deep nice. black, you two, a, 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 a very shameful on your part. You know this, uh, your fellow artist's wife. Why should you, why, why should you do that with her? Yeah, a colleague in the industry. Yes. Oh, come on. Your fellow or your colleague in the industry. Why should you do that to her? Or with her. It's a very shameful act. Very shameful. <laughs>